For gas ovens using a hot surface igniter, once the Baker Broil function is selected, the oven control will send 120 volts of alternating current to the igniter. The hot surface igniter will begin to glow as it heats up and ignite the gas flowing from the gas safety valve through the burner tube. If the oven is not heating properly, you can remove any covers or shields and observe whether or not the hot surface igniter is glowing. If the igniter is glowing, but the burner has not been lit after 90 seconds, there is a high probability that the igniter has weakened and is unable to draw the proper amps to open the safety valve and light the burner. In this case, the igniter should be replaced. If the igniter is not glowing, you can use a multimeter to test the igniter for electrical continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the component. If the igniter tests negative for continuity, you'll know the part is defective. However, if the hot surface igniter tests positive for continuity, you should use the multimeter to help determine if voltage is reaching the igniter. To conduct this test, the appliance will need to be plugged in, so avoid touching any wires or components with your hands. You may have to remove a rear panel to access the power wires leading to the igniter. Set the meter's range selection dial to volts AC. Disconnect the igniter's wire connector or detach the power wires from the terminals. Depending on which input you're testing, select Bake or Broil on the oven control panel and press Start. Now contact the black meter lead to one of the wire connector terminals or wires and the red meter lead to the other terminal or wire. The meter display should indicate close to 120 volts available to the igniter. If adequate voltage is present, then the igniter or the gas safety valve are probably defective. But if the igniter is not receiving the proper voltage, the oven's thermal fuse, temperature sensor, temperature control thermostat, or control board could be at fault.